The Soundcore Motion 300 is a very portable, durable, and a very loud 30 watt speaker that's also very affordable. But today, we're going to see how the Soundcore Motion 300 stacks up to both the JBL Flip 6 and the JBL Charge 5, two of my favorite speakers to recommend, especially the JBL Charge 5. Regarding pricing, the Soundcore Motion 300 has a retail price of $80, whereas the Flip 6 has a retail price of $120, but it likes to routinely go on sale for $100, and the Charge 5 has a retail price of $180, but it likes to routinely go on sale for $150, and sometimes a little less. Now, personally, I think the Soundcore Motion 300 gives you a really big bang for your buck. Nonetheless, if you want to pick any of these speakers up, they'll be linked down below. And if you want to further support the channel, pick up a big head of Approved hat. Link down below. We've got trucker hats and snapbacks. By buying a hat, you help the unbiased and unsponsored videos coming, and it also helps us cover more products and produce more versus videos. Thank you to everyone who's already bought a hat, and look out for more designs coming soon. And also, please remember to hit that like button and let's get subscribed. Now first, let's talk about the design of these speakers. Now both of JBL speakers have cylindrical bodies, and they're both wrapped in fabric, so they do a really good job of standing up to constant abuse from bumps and scrapes. Now size-wise, the Charge 5 is decently portable, but the Flip 6 is smaller and it also has a built-in loop, so you can hang it from things. But then there's the Motion 300. Now first off, the Motion 300 has a metal front grille and the rest of its body is covered in silicone. So it's it's very durable and all of these speakers are waterproof as well. But with the Motion 300, you can either have it so that it's standing upright and you can direct all of the sound towards you, you can also use it while it's laying down flat and get omnidirectional sound out of it, or you can use its built-in loop and you can easily attach it to things like your backpack. So portability wise, I am going to have to say that the Motion 300 is more portable than the Flip 6 because of its built-in clasp, because with the Flip 6, Six, if you want to attach it to something, then you're going to have to get a carabiner or something. Now, regarding tech specs, the Soundcore Motion 300 has an advertised battery life of 13 hours. However, that's with this speaker playing at 50% volume. Real world use with this speaker playing at 80% volume and with its bass up feature turned off, which is how I prefer to use this speaker, then the speaker is going to be good for around 8 hours of playback time. But then there's the JBL Flip 6, which has an advertised battery life of 12 hours, but real world use with it playing at 80% volume is going to be good for around 8 hours of playback time as well. And just like the Soundcore Motion 300, the Flip 6 is also a 30 watt speaker. And finally, there's the JBL Charge 5, which has an advertised battery life of 24 hours, but with this speaker playing at 80% volume, then it's going to be good for around 10 hours of playback time. And the Charge 5 is a 40 watt speaker, so this speaker is going to get louder and have more bass than these other two speakers. Now, in order to charge these speakers, they all charge via a USB-C port, as they should, and none of these speakers have an audio jack on them, so you can only use them wirelessly. But the Charge 5 is the only speaker here that has a USB-A port so that you can charge your own devices. But personally, I think that this USB-A port on the Charge 5 isn't going to get much use because most phones these days now just come included with a USB-C to USB-C. USB-C charging cables. But when it comes to Bluetooth connectivity, all of these speakers can be connected to two devices at the same time, so you and a friend can both be DJ, and latency is not an issue for any of these speakers, so you can use them to watch videos with on your phone. But when it comes to audio codecs, both the JBL Flip 6 and the JBL Charge 5 only have support for SBC. Now, SBC is fine, but with the Soundcore Motion 300, you are going to have support for higher quality audio codecs like AAC, but you're also going to have support for LDAC, which is Sony's own in-house high-res audio codec. Just keep in mind that if you do want to use LDAC, you do have to be an Android user because iPhones top out at AAC, and also LDAC does take an additional toll on the battery battery life. But with all of that out of the way, let's talk about sound. With the Motion 300, you have a dual frontward firing woofers and a dual passive radiators in the center that shoot out the front and back, and this is a typical speaker setup. Whereas with both the JBL Flip 6 and JBL Charge 5, they both have a frontward firing woofer, a frontward firing tweeter, and dual passive radiators that shoot out the sides. Now, the reason why it's a big deal that both the JBL Flip 6 and Charge 5 have a woofer and tweeter setup setup is because it helps with instrument separation. But so that you can see for yourself, let me just show you. So 
So like we've just seen, the woofer handles the mids and the tweeter handles the highs. So this helps your speakers sound more open and just better. But now we're going to jump into the sound test. Both the Flip 6 and Motion 300 are playing at 87% volume, whereas the Charge 5 is playing at 75% volume. Lately you don't feel like yourself and you kind of hate it You suppress all of the thoughts in your head and say it's complicated You hide your pain, but I can see it It's on your face, I know the feeling Well, you're okay, but you're barely breathing Don't you walk away There's a fear you're getting lost, the fear you're trailing off Feel it in your words when you say there's nothing wrong There's something so subliminal About the way that your hands shake whenever you talk You stare into space like you're lost in your thoughts Surrounded by your paper walls Tell me what's been going on Myself, now I took time to listen. Couldn't see that you were going through hell. Now you're cold and distant. You say you're fine, but your heart is bleeding. Feed me those lines, but they lost the meaning. I feel you're getting lost, I feel you're trailing off. Feel it in your words when you say there's nothing wrong There's something so subliminal The way that your hands shake whenever you talk You stare into space like you're lost in your thoughts You lie behind your paper walls Tell me what's been going So when it comes to sound quality, I am going to have to say that the Soundcore Motion 300 sounds decent. Now in the sound test, it had its bass up feature turned on, which gives you more bass, but it does reduce the mids and highs a little bit. So that's why this speaker sounded a little warmer than these other two speakers. But nonetheless, the Motion 300 sounds good. However, when compared to the JBL Flip 6, the Flip 6 does sound more open because it has better instrument separation because it's able to delegate the mids and lows to its woofer and the highs to its tweeter. But also, the Flip 6 does have a little more bass and the Flip 6 does get louder than the Motion 300 as well. And then there's the Charge 5. Again, the Charge 5 has better instrument separation here thanks to its woofer and tweeter setup and since the Charge 5 is a 41 watt speaker, it just gets louder and has even more bass than these other two 30 watt speakers. Now in general, I like how the Motion 300 and the Charge 5 sound with their stock EQs, but with all of these speakers, you can go into their app and you can adjust their EQ to your liking. And with the JBL Flip 6, I do feel that this speaker sounds a little too bright, so I do like to go in and raise the bass by two clicks and lower the treble by one click. But overall, the Soundcore Motion 300 sounds good and it really does give the JBL Flip 6 a run for its money. But ultimately, the JBL Flip 6 does sound and perform better than the Motion 300 because it has better instrument separation thanks to its woofer and tweeter setup. And with the Charge 5, it gets noticeably louder. But finally, let's talk about pairing these speakers up with other speakers. Now, with the Soundcore Motion 300, if you have another Soundcore Motion 300, you can wisely pair them up and get them to play in a 
left and right stereo mode so your two speakers are going to sound louder but your music is also going to have much better instrument separation because one speaker is going to be handling the left channel and the other speaker is going to be handling the right channel. But then there are the Charge 5 and the Flip 6, which are both using JBL's Party Boost. So you can wisely pair your JBL Charge 5 or Flip 6 to, let's say, a JBL Boombox 3, a Boombox 2, an Extreme 3, a Charge 5, a Pulse 5, a Pulse 4, a Flip 5, or to a Flip 6, and you can have up to 100 speakers playing together. Now, if you're going to be mixing and matching speakers, like let's say, for example, a Charge 5 and a Flip 6, then these two speakers are going to play in sync. If you want to get your speakers to play in left and right stereo mode, you are going to need two of the exact same speakers. But overall, I do feel that if you plan on buying multiple speakers, then you'll be better off investing into JBL speaker lineup because there are just more speakers that you can choose from and you can pair a lot more speakers together than with the Soundcore Motion 300. But with all that being said, the Soundcore Motion 300 is a very solid portable Bluetooth speaker that's very durable, it sounds good, and it gets decently loud, all while being affordable, especially when compared to both the JBL Flip 6 and JBL Charge 5. Portability-wise, the Motion 300 does have a slight advantage over the Flip 6 because it's easier to attach it to things without needing an additional carabiner, but sound quality-wise, both the Flip 6 and Charge 5 are the better option here. Nonetheless, Nonetheless, the Soundcore Motion 300 is a great value. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit the like button and get subscribed. If you want to pick any of the products up, they'll be linked down below. And if you want to further support the channel, check out the merch. I made some shirts and hoodies that look and feel great. And you know I can be very particular, so I'll only slap my name on something if I'm really proud of it.